Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to use the backup feature for creating backups and restoring your website from Hostinger. So the first thing you have to do is log into the H panel of Hostinger. Go to hpanel.hostinger.com and um, sign in with your username password. Then you will see this dashboard here. From here you have to select the hosting plan and then you will see this option click on manage and here you will see your website or if you have multiple website on your hosting a plan then you have to select the correct website uh, from here okay so currently i only have this one test website so i will show you how to use the backup function here now to access the backup feature there are two ways first you can see here this is the backup feature and sometimes the interface may change so you can find also find it from here on the left sidebar go to the files option click on this drop down option and then um, you will see the backups option here also and hosting provides four options for backing up and restoring your website first option is this restore website and you have to click on this select if it is not selected already it will show you the date when the last backup was taken and then you will have an option to restore this backup. This backup contains both files and database combination and it will restore your website to the exact point when this backup was created. All the existing files will be removed and it will be restored to the state as it was uh, when it was taken and the frequency of backups will depend on your hosting plan. For example, I have uh, currently I have this premium hosting and it allows one weekly backup auto backup so um, you can see the last backup when it was created then the second option is this files backup so in case you want to just restore one file two files or only all the files and not restore the backup then you can select this or you want to just download all the files for any reason mm -hmm. then when selected it will show you the date when it was taken then click on next step now it will show you all the files that are related to this website. So you can see in the public HTML folder of this domain, uh, all these are my WordPress website files. So if I want to download all of them or restore all of them, first I have to use the select all option. Then I can click on restore files or I can also download them. Now, if I want to only restore selected files, for example, maybe I was making some changes to this HD access file or I was making some changes to the uh, WP config file. Okay, for example, like this, where we have to update sometimes database name or some other advanced configuration. So maybe I did, some, did something like that and my website stopped working after that. So I can just select this file and click on restore file. So without restoring the whole website, I can just restore back this file. Okay, now I will untick this and um, or also before you know making changes you can use this option and um, download this files you can also do that from the file manager then the next backup option is this database backups okay so when you select this it will show you the database and uh, you can also have multiple databases so click on show database and then it will show you the date then you can select it restore it or download it so when you would need us if you have made some changes to the database or a recent plugin update did something like that uh, only in those cases you would need to restore database and the fourth and last option is to generate a new backup you can use this option to manually create backup of your website for example if you want to update your whole website want to make some major changes so before doing that you can generate a new backup and in case something goes wrong you can use this option just click on select here and then it will show you if you want to confirm generating a new backup and according to your hosting plan you will also uh, have to keep in mind that you can only generate one new backup in 24 hours it may be different uh, for your hosting plan so for my premium plan this is the current limit okay then click on proceed and then you would be able to create a new backup so I will just cancel that because I don't want to create a new backup right now. So this is a very useful backup feature, especially this whole restore website feature. So in case your WordPress website is not working, the backup plugin, you are not able to access that. You can easily restore your website from here.